Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for Data Reader's invitation. It is my great honor to be here to share our experience on the application of next generation sequencing in hemoglobin neuropathy prevention. First of all, I would like to briefly introduce BGI. BGI is the abbreviation of Beijing Genomic Institute. It was founded in 1999 in order to participate in the Human Genome Project. We finished 1% of the Human Genome Project, which stands for China. Here's our co-founder, Professor Huan Mengyang. And the mission of BGR is to be a world leader in the age of life science. Today, we have more than 8,000 employees worldwide, and we pay a lot of attention on the scientific research and published more than 2,800 publications and have nearly 1,300 patents. And today, we provide the services for over 100 countries and regions. BGI provides a total solution of genomic medicine throughout the life cycle, especially on the focus on the birth defect prevention. And today, I will focus on the application of next generation sequencing in hemoglobin neuropathy prevention and also other monogenetic disease prevention. As we know, hemoglobin neuropathy, which includes thalassemia and sickle cell disease and other hemoglobin diseases, uh, is widely distributed across the world. And in Azerbaijan, we have the National Thalassemia Prevention Program. Up to now, this, screen, this program screened over 300,000 individuals. And according to the results of the program, 4% of the population are carriers of beta thalassemia. And luckily, hemoglobin neuropathies are preventable uh, in the history. Cyprus, Greece, Italy, UK, and a lot of countries and regions have successfully reduced the birth of thalassemia major. Thalassemia major. Um, for the Thalassemia International Federation, uh, it suggests a guideline for the prevention of thalassemia by carrier screening. First, we performed hematological analysis for the couples. And if the results are positive, we followed and followed by the genetic analysis, including analysis for beta thalassemia, alpha thalassemia, alpha and beta thalassemia, and also sickle cell disease analysis. So it is complicated for the genetic analysis. And we had developed a comprehensive assay for genetic analysis based on next generation sequencing technology. For this technology, we can detect more than 500 pathogenic variants of thalassemia within a single test by using the next generation sequencing technology. And in comparison, uh, traditional methods usually detect less than 30 variants. Uh, so this technology can detect novel and real pathogenic variants. And what's more, our product is CE approved. And here are two demo reports of our clinical uh, report. The first case is a carrier of alpha thalassemia, and the second report is a case of beta thalassemia. And we can detect a rare variants missed by traditional kits. And here's a rare variants detected by next generation sequencing technology. Uh, the genotype is IVS15 beta thalassemia, and the second case is also a rare cell variant in China, uh, that's the codon 71 beta thalassemia, it can be detected by our method. And since 2022, uh, we have established a collaboration with Azerbaijan Thalassemia Center which is on the National Hematology and Transfusion Center. The purpose of our study is to study the effectiveness 
of next generation sequencing technology for prevention and diagnosis of thalassemia in Azerbaijan. We, we, we screened um, about nearly 900 individuals in 900 patients. And among them, we detected 149 individuals with alpha thalassemia, including 16 types of variant, include 3.7K deletions, 20.5K deletions, and also anti. 3.7k uh, triplicate so can detect the common variants and the real variants and the second we detected the more than 400 individuals with beta thalassemia which includes 37 types of variant and third detect the 74 individuals with both alpha and beta thalassemia simultaneously. And also we detect variants associated with sickle cell disorders and other hemoglobin neuropathies. So here's the results. We can see that HBS, HBD, and the combination with HBS and other variants. Uh, so HBS is also not very rare in Azerbaijan. So here's a brief review of current thalassemia screening protocol in Azerbaijan. First, we'll perform a hematological analysis for couples. If both were positive, then followed with reverse dodge hybridization for alpha and beta thalassemia. If one of the couples, the result is negative, followed with single sequencing, and if one of them is negative, followed with MLP8. If both positive, then provide the prenatal diagnosis. So the question is whether we can simplify the technology protocol for the genetic analysis, for example, combine all three steps together by using the next generation sequencing technology. In China, this method uh, is accepted. In China, here's the guideline provided by Chinese government. It suggests to provide next generation sequencing for alpha and beta thalassemia simultaneously to the subject. And here's a demo, demo case. We provide comprehensive screening in Qingyuan city. Uh, in this city, thalassemia has, is very common. Um, traditionally, we provide a hematological analysis, including routine blood tests and uh, hemoglobin electrophoresis, and then followed with genetic testing. So we combined our new technology, provide the next generation sequencing for the couples with negative routine blood test or with negative hemoglobin electrophoresis and couple, couples with negative genetic testing results for the traditional methods. By combining them together, we can detect the thalassemia carrier, normal, and the thalassemia major or intermediate. Here's here are results. Between 2017 to 2020, we screened about 72,000 samples, and the carrier rate is nearly 20%, and detected about more than 250 real variants. The spectrum of real variants is listed here. And also the result shows that about 5% of people with negative routine blood tests were thalassemia carriers. So this will be missed by the traditional methods. And here's another case. We performed the next generation sequencing of thalassemia in Ganzhou, uh, also a southern city in China. A total of 85,000 pairs of 
newly married couples were screened for caries. The screening lasted for three years and reduced the number of births of dozens of people to one to four cases every year. The cost effectiveness ratio of health expenditure was 1.127, and the annual medical cost of patients was saved by the 48 million IM dollar that's equal to the 7 million USD dollars. And make summary, uh, according to our experience, next generation sequencing is helpful to improve the prevention and control of thalassemia. We had um, had detected more than 1.2 million samples, and the big data showed that the existence of special thalassemia genotypes in each province. For example, in Guangxi province, FS25 is specific in Guangxi province, and cotton 40 is specific in Hainan province, and cotton 5, cotton 53. And here are our selected publications, including the paper about applying next generation sequencing technology for thalassemia screening. And also, we, pro we have studied on the non invasive prenatal testing of thalassemia. This paper has been published in Genome Medicine. And we also detected several novel variants of thalassemia. Okay, so. Uh, we focus on thalassemia, but thalassemia is just one of more than 6,000 monogenetic diseases. So we use the carry screening uh, is to test the couples for reproductive health. It identifies high-risk couples among health couples without family history of genetic disease. So can we perform carry screening for lots of diseased, not only thalassemia. Um, the, con the consulting suggests to screen from single disease to multiple diseased. So here we can see that the ACMG and the ACOG consulting suggest to screen lots of diseases for the general population, not only hemoglobinopathy, and here's the guideline of ACOG 2017. In this guideline, it suggests that information about genetic carrier screening should be provided to every pregnant woman. And if an individual is found to be a carrier for a specific condition, the individual's reproductive partner should be offering testing in order to receive the informed genetic counseling about pre potential reproductive outcomes. And screening for SMA should be offered to all women, uh, so not only include the hemoglobin opposite. And here's the guideline of ACMG 2021. It suggests that carrier screening should be provided to general population because it is unfair to the general population and has certain scientific limitations to screen individual disease only for specific races and high-risk couples. And only the variance of P and LP is reported. And several countries have implemented the expanded carrier screening. Here is a brief review. So we can see that uh, the screen disease ranged from 3 to more than 600, and the carrier rate ranged from 5% to 84%, and it avoided about 1 in 64 to 1 in 100 birth defects. So it's widely applied in lots of countries. Uh, BGI will also lead the Chinese guideline with our leading hospital and have published the Chinese guideline for expanded carrier screening. And here's a demo case of expanded carrier screening in China. 
A city in China provides free expanded care screening to more than 35,000 pregnant women per year. So this city, Jiang City, uh, has a very high prevalence of thalassemia uh, by implemented expanded care screening of more than 10 conditions. Uh, the data show that we had detected the high risk couples for the thalassemia, including alpha thalassemia and beta thalassemia, and also Wilson disease and other disease. And the cost effectiveness ratio is one to nine. And we had designed the carrier screening panel follows ACMG guideline. We have two panel. One is more than 117 conditions and the second is a main panel including 11 conditions and our method has been published on eBiomedicine and EJHG. Okay, finally, make a summary. Next generation sequencing for hemoglobin neuropathy can detect more than 500 pathogenic variants in a single test, which simplifies the traditional genetic testing. And it has been applied for thalassemia screening and diagnosis. And the second, expanded carrier screening, which screens carriers for multi disease, not only hemoglobin neuropathy. It is another effective tool for thalassemia and other birth defect prevention. Okay, that's all. Thank you for your attention and welcome to our new headquarters. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for your attention.